Hey, I'm back today with an update on a few projects I've been working on. Um, before I started doing the Sea Monkey and basically this channel, I was working on some pumpkins that I had grown from seed from pumpkins I'd bought at the store. Not just pumpkins, but other winter squash. And when I came to pick them, I pretty much came out with these. Yeah, nothing really specific. Um, I think the two smaller ones are basically pumpkin hybrids, and this bigger one is a spaghetti squash hybrid with a pumpkin. I looked online and it looks a bit like a millionaire spaghetti squash, but I can't really say for sure. I think the reason they look like this is because when you buy a pumpkin from the store, you really don't know what it has been fertilized by. It could have been honestly anything. In order to, for a pumpkin to start forming, the uh, flower has to be fertilized by any pollen whatsoever. And usually the hybrid plant isn't um, expressed until the next generation in the seeds. So yeah, these look very, very strange. Now I'm working on a new project to uh, grow something else. And here they are. These are pineapple tops that I'd cut off of pineapples at the store. What I'm going to do is plant these in some soil. Now, I've had these sitting in water for a while because they looked a bit sickly when I cut them off already. So I wanted to make sure they would be fine. So I had them in water and soaking up full spectrum light. And uh, I'm going to plant the biggest one. Hopefully the pineapples start growing. As you can see, this water has gone completely green with algae. Triops are still alive though. Here at the top of the container you can see bubbles of oxygen coming from the algae in the water. It's kind of interesting how much oxygen it makes. So this is the last fairy shrimp from the triop kit. The other three have died. Beaver tail was probably the only one of its kind, and the rest were all the same as this one. It's kind of sad, but they don't seem to last very long. Not as long as brine shrimp or sea monkeys. Here's the ecosphere. As you can tell, it's made a lot of hair algae at the bottom. A couple other types of algae that are starting to produce oxygen. So that'll be pretty good. Um, I haven't noticed much of an increase in the Daphnia population, unfortunately. But the Rotifer population has definitely increased, and I can only hope that the Daphnia will uh, start producing more offspring. So I've actually changed the wa like half the water in here, um, and it's still pretty green, but uh, it's much clearer. I can see the triops in there. I have the bubbler going so that uh, it uh, regulates the temperature back to normal. And now I have this thing of green water that's kind of dirty, but I mean it's already starting to create bubbles of oxygen, and I kind of want to do something with it, but I don't really know what I can do. So. Thank you. 